Hey, it's Guns McGraw. I'm going to show you how to put a scene in for uh, a mold, latex mold. Um, lots of times I mount on Melamine, depending on how heavy your model is. Some people drill holes in the center for venting. I don't. I haven't really had a problem with uh, gassing out. I also use plastic. Seeing how I back form, I have lots of plastic on hand. So if it's a small model, I'll just uh, put it on a piece of plastic, which I'm going to do with this model. So I'm going to hot glue it, and then uh, I'll show you how we get the contour, or how I'm going to get the contour on this one. see this tail you would never get the latex to stretch that far you would snap the tail off so I'm going to show you how I do it there's lots of ways to do these things as they say there's more than one way to skin a cat not that I would skin a cat but uh, and again my disclaimer I'm only going to show you what's worked for me uh, in the past the present and maybe the future now you can use a couple different materials I like to use these dividers on small small uh, models it's just a plastic divider for file folders. Uh, you can also use a uh, high impact. Let me see a piece. This is a 30 thou high impact. You could use that. So what we need to do is uh, we need to get the contour of that tail. Now sometimes they use a gauge, a contour gauge. But that's too deep, so it's not going to work for that. So I'm going to have to eyeball it. Now you could just trace it right onto your plastic, or you can use and a piece of paper. Get your uh, dimension and then trace that onto the plastic. So let's see how it goes here. All right, I'm going to roughly trace this onto this paper. Without a contour gauge, it is kind of hard to get it, but always go a little further out from your trace and kind of trim as you go. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be on a slight angle. I like that. I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to trace that onto my plastic. Now remember, like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Any latex that goes through where there's a space, you can use an X-Acto knife when you demold to, uh, to cut that. So I'm going to trace that on my... Now, there's a couple of schools of thought on this. You can um, 
put a little bit of latex on there and stick it and wait for it to go off. The other thing I've done and some other people have done, you can go ahead and paint five or six layers on here, then put this on. And then when you can demold, you run your exacto blade to cut the seam. So I'm going to attach this first. So I'm going to put a little bit of latex on there. I've also got a couple pieces of scotch tape standing by that we'll remove before we do our first coat. Now I'm just going to put a little more latex in there. 